Hey, um, all, thanks for joining. Uh, my name is Ray Zwiebelhofer. I'm the president of World Software Corporations, the maker of World Docs. Um, and I wanted to uh, just stop in and say hello before we get started with this exciting um, content we have for you. Um, I hope you are all doing well, keeping safe, um, and of course, working hard. Um, we, uh, two at World Docs, are uh, uh, keeping safe, um, trying to do the right thing in this uh, challenging time. Uh, keeping very busy. Um, hopefully, um, our support continues to be as good or better than it always has been. Um, I know the, the staff is working really hard to make that so. Uh, so we appreciate you as customers and if we have any prospects on the line, um, uh, potentially future customers. Um, so again, um, we, I wanted to start, um, I hope we're not getting over webinar as, uh, webinars as a society like too much, right? But uh, we felt um, we've missed so many trade shows where we see a lot of you. Uh, and uh, I just kind of felt compelled, my team and I, to start pushing out um, solutions that can not only help you today, uh, but um, it will help you as you go on your life as we get back to work. And one of the top things, you know, we, we hear cloud every day, cloud, cloud, cloud. And, and a lot of folks would have you believe that if you have to have a cloud application, singular to be the cloud, right? Um, and you know, that is one way to get one of your section of products into the cloud um, categories. Um, but often firms um, have many other systems that are on premise, that are not cloud enabled yet. And they're stuck with this hybrid s system, which is uh, really pain them uh, when it came to um, this day and age where they can't access, say a small firm, QuickBooks is on site, right? You know, and um, it's kind of hard to get to them, et cetera. So um, we're excited about um, this uh, series um, of um, uh, cloud hosted that desktop and even um, environment as a service. Um, and really what it does, and, and we'll, we'll, you'll get a full detail here more um, in the next hour, but really taking your whole platform, your desktops and hosting it in a cloud environment. So you know, make no mistake, you are entirely cloud enabled at that point with all the benefits of the cloud. Um, and the cool thing about it is, is um, the delays and the stuff you normally associate with the singular cloud, like a web app um, is really non-existent. And you got full integration um, and full access to all your on-premise products. So really excited about this. We've had providers um, that go back 10 years hosting the World Docs product and many clients in them. So please uh, listen up and, um, you know, thank you for being here today. From there, I'll pass it to Hella. Uh, thanks, Ray. Um, hi, and welcome to today's webinar. Uh, I am Hella Schwartz Grossman, Marketing Manager at Waldox. Before we get started with the webinar, I just want to go over a few housekeeping items. Today's webinar will be recorded and the link will be emailed to you afterwards. Everyone is muted right now. If you have any questions, go ahead and type them into the GoToWebinar questions pane. We'll address the questions at the end of the webinar. As Ray mentioned, uh, today's webinar is part of our new legal technology webinar series, where we'll introduce some of our partners. So join us on Fridays at 2 p.m. Eastern time. First up are our premier cloud hosting provider partners. And today we would like you to meet the Tabush Group. Our speaker today is Dara Fitzpatrick, partner and executive vice president at Tabush Group. Dara has more than 20 years of experience in IT and is an avid technologist with extensive experience speaking on cybersecurity and the cloud. At Tabush Group, Dara manages client services and growth primarily for BoxTop. BoxTub is a cloud solution that enables professional services firms to securely move their IT to the cloud, eliminating hardware hassles and unexpected costs. Originally from Ireland, Dara relocated to New York in the early 2000s, and he now lives on Long Island with his wife and their two sons. Tabish Group is a leading provider of desktop as a service and managed IT services specializing in delivering technology solutions for small to mid-sized law firms. During today's discussion, Dara will provide an overview of cloud technology and its advantages, 
over alternative methods. He will demo Boxtop, Tablet Group's desktop as a service cloud solution to sh show how seamlessly applications can work on the right desktop as a service solution to gain the benefits of cloud without losing your favorite applications like World Docs. So thank you in advance for the attention you'll be giving this webinar today. And Adara, handing it over to you. Thanks very much for that uh, intro, Ray and Heli. Uh, and thanks very much for having me here today. Uh, Tavish, Group, Tavish Group is very proud to be a cloud, cloud partner with WorldDocs. I'm also happy that so many of you could take the time to join us here today on a Friday afternoon. I also hope that everyone's family, friends and colleagues are well and safe. I would love for this webinar to be as interactive as possible. <clears throat> so ask questions at any time in the Q&A section. Uh, if we can, we will stop right there um, as people are monitoring and ask questions. If not, we're going to have plenty of time to ask our questions at the end of uh, the content. We have approximately 40 minutes of content today. Okay, so first I just wanted to let you know a little bit more about me. So uh, as Heli mentioned, I was born in Ireland in a small village called Partine. Uh, that's the main street of Partine there in the top left corner. As you can tell, it was a really busy happening place. Uh, I emigrated to London uh, in 1994. Uh, after seven years of in London working in uh, different IT management uh, roles, I packed my bags again and I emigrated to New York City, which is now my home. Outside of work, I love sports, um, nearly all sports really. I have been partaking in soccer or football, uh, as we say back home. Um, all my life, I'm actually wearing my uh, team's jersey, uh, Liverpool, the team I follow, because we won our first league title in 30 years yesterday. So that type of has me a little bit over the moon. Um, I still play in an over 40s league. I'm not too sure when I'm playing over 40s, if you could call it soccer much anymore, but I'm still type of ambling across the pitch and kicking the ball in front of me with another group of people doing the same thing. Uh, the nice thing about it is it's the same club uh, here in Ireland that my two boys play for. So it's, it's more time together with my fam, which is great. Uh, my wife's name is Jessica. Uh, we have two stepdaughters, Alison and Claire. Uh, both Alison and Claire are now married and living in Missouri. Uh, I have two sons, as I said. Oshin is going on nine and Taig is going on six next month. I love spending time with my family. We are, we always have a lot of fun. Uh, that's the key word in our family, I think. Um, like taking trips together. The picture in the middle there was taken in a place called the Lake of the Ozarks last summer. It's type of being made famous by the show Ozarks. If any of you haven't seen it, it's a great show. Um, I always joke that this picture would be my family if I'd emigrated to the States in the 1920s. Um, so now having grown up in a small town in Ireland and emigrating to New York, I now actually live in a small town, relatively small, uh, 40 miles outside of New York called Long Beach. Uh, that's my current office space, um, somewhat similar to I'm sure everyone's, everyone's space right now that they're working from home. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a very productive space for me for the last three months. So today we're going to review how firms can keep the full WorldDocs GX4 solution that they know and love, but still get all the benefits of cloud by leveraging the Boxtop cloud. So first, a little background on uh, our firm. Uh, the Tabish Group was founded in 2000 by my business partner, Mars Tabish. In normal times, we'd be operating from our office in Midtown Manhattan, which is three blocks from Penn Station for anyone that knows New York City. Uh, we have grown to a full-time staff of 35, and at this time, since March 12th, everyone is working from home, supporting approximately the 4,500 users at small to mid-sized professional services firms across the U.S. that trust Tabish Group as their IT partner. So we have a keen focus on working with professional services businesses. We understand their values and needs really well as we are a professional organization ourselves, professional services organization ourselves. 40% of the firms we do partner with uh, to provide IT cloud services and to support are also low, our law firms themselves ranging in size from 10 to 400 staff. Law firms are a core part of our business and we have a thorough understanding of the unique needs of law firms in the legal industry. We partner with many industry groups, including the ALA, WILG, the Manage, Managing Partner Forum, and the Managing Partner Summit. 
If anyone would like information on those groups, please let me know, I can forward it to you. And of course, we're very proud to be a partner, a cloud partner uh, of WordDocs. We're an owner-operated firm, <clears throat> self-financed, cash flow positive, uh, which enables us to always focus on what we know is best for the firms that we partner with to provide IT and cloud services. We do not have to answer to any outside investors or board of directors. Our core values are key to who we are as a firm. You can see them on the screen there. Uh, each and every one of our people, clients, and partners align with these core values, enabling us to achieve our overall mission, which is to deliver amazing services so our clients can focus on their success. Over the last 10 years, the legal industry has changed drastically. Attorney, staff rate, attorney to staff ratios, technology, footprint, automation, security, and many more areas. This impacts how you manage your law firm as a business, which includes when you manage your law firm as a business, this includes a plethora of decisions pertaining to IT, how to leverage it to enhance productivity, and how to protect the firm's ability to perform. For firms of every size, IT is now intrinsic to operations, which has especially been evident over the last three months. A law firm needs to perform in a secure and efficient managed manner, regardless of where its people are located. There are really two ways to achieve this from an IT perspective. You can build and buy your infrastructure, or you can leverage cloud. For as long as we've been doing this, IT has only become more complex. That's why we're here, here to help you make IT simpler, more secure, and more effective. So why should we leverage cloud? So the, before the term cloud was in, <clears throat> is actually in use, we started providing IT services to businesses from data center presence, essentially providing IT cloud services in 2004. By 2007, we had established our own private virtual cloud where we hosted multiple cloud services and still do to this present day. When done correctly, and that's very important, cloud has several benefits. And it's important to note that when done correctly, you achieve these benefits because it, cloud implementations are not always done correctly. So what are the real benefits that we've uncovered? So first, cloud simplifies the need to buy and build complex, redundant, and protected IT systems. Cloud enhances a firm's ability to perform and operate. Systems that run from the cloud are more accessible, more easily accessible, which enhances your productivity. Cloud also enhances the overall ability of a firm to operate without a separate business continuity platform, one that you have to build and manage through any type of scenario, like natural disasters, localized uh, disasters in your office, or the pandemic that we are currently experiencing. Cloud reduces the need to manage and invest in upgrades to hardware life cycle, due to hardware lifecycle management when Dell or HP, for instance, no longer support your servers. It means you have to upgrade maybe your servers on a five to seven year life cycle change, or you have to upgrade your PCs on a three year to five year life cycle change. These upgrades are expensive, interruptive, and really do not improve the, the law firm's business operation in any real way. I've never saw a law firm, uh, I've never met a managing partner at a law firm that's run through the office high-fiving people because he had 40 new computers. It's not really changing the dynamic of the law firm, but it is a very expensive and interruptive process. Cloud enhances IT security without placing that burden of managing security on your law firm. The right cloud service will meet the security needs of your firm, and will continue to do so as your security needs change. Cloud increases uptime because it has built-in redundancies to overcome system failures, the type of redundancies that you really probably can't invest in because it doesn't make uh, financial sense in your on-premise type of systems. Over the last five years, people have wanted to and needed to be more flexible in how and where they work. Think about the last three months. Remote access has actually been the lifeline to the continued operation of your law firm. It's no longer something really that you, you need to provide because people want it. It's really now essentially a business continuity platform. Cloud inherently provides true mobility and remote access without the need for any other type of platform being built in your on-premise scenario. To put it another way, cloud reduces the complexity of IT. And complexity is the enemy of productivity while simplicity is its friend. Cloud can enhance your firm's productivity which is one of the key reasons we all invest in IT for our firms. So when we built our cloud, <clears throat> our private cloud for our clients, uh, there were a number of things that we deemed essential in order to provide a great cloud service. 
The first was our cloud, our cloud had to be designed and built by our team at the Tavish Group. We do not resell cloud from another firm. We own the technology we operate <clears throat> from our data centers we selected that meet the criteria we know to be important to our clients. If there ever is a problem with our cloud, our team solves the problem. We do not need to call Azure or AWS to fix the problem like many other cloud partners who leverage those services. We are hands-on and fully in control. This is very important to the firms that trust us to provide cloud services to their firms. We believe in partnerships, not vendor relationships, like our partnership with, people that, with the people that manage our data center facilities. Each of the data centers are ent enterprise N plus one level facilities with all the necessary physical and technical securities, backed by industry standard compliance and security programs, including ISO, SSA 16, PCI, and HIPAA. Ex <clears throat> We use best of breed technologies in our cloud for compute, storage, and network to ensure the best performance of our cloud. There is no shortcut to providing excellent cloud services to demanding industries. As we continue to, build, <clears throat> to bring the benefits of cloud to our clients, we look to be innovative, innovative and further leverage cloud to enhance its benefits for all the businesses that we worked with. In 2014, we started developing our most prominent cloud service, Boxtop. We launched Boxtop officially in April 2016. Since launch, we have had 230% year-over-year growth. We currently have 55 businesses operating the Boxtop cloud. In the last two years, approximately 90% of the small to mid-sized firms that selected Tabish Group as their IT partner decided to move fully into the cloud and leverage Boxtop. 100% of the firms over the last two years that we've engaged with and selected us as a partner chose Boxtop. While these law firms leverage Boxtop, they also leverage our vast experience in supporting their IT and people. We are these firms' IT partner for cloud, local, on-site, and team support. We are their IT team, both operationally and strategically. Firms that leverage Boxtop love it. The feedback we have received over the last three months during the pandemic has been especially overwhelming. Firms have seamlessly moved their offices and their people to their homes and kept their businesses operating without any impact from a technical standpoint. So let's talk in more detail about Boxtop and why it is a solution that businesses are gravitating toward to enhance how they leverage IT. <clears throat> Just take some water, sorry. Cheers to any of the Mets fans out there, if you can see. We like to say that desktop as a service is the best cl kept cloud secret. Many IT <clears throat> Excuse me. Many IT businesses do not want firms to know about this being a great option to leverage IT as they can provide this type of service. So what is desktop as a service? Simply put, it's taking your PC from under your desk, virtualizing it, and placing it in the cloud. A cloud desktop is still a Microsoft Windows 10 desktop, same as you've always used. So it allows you to run all your favorite and functional business applications like WorldDocs GX4, but now it is all enhanced by all the benefits of cloud. Firms have generally leveraged cloud to protect what they deemed the most critical areas of their firm. For instance, firms would move their WorldDocs GX4 application to the cloud either by migrating to the WorldDocs cloud platform or maybe by placing it on a cloud virtual server. However, the reality is now that every part of your IT is now intrinsic and important to the operation of your law firm. We built this box top so that we could help firms move all their IT to the cloud your PCs, the servers your applications operate from, all the shared files and all the applications you use, including WorldOx GX4. Every part of your business operation is now protected and supported from one environment, one ecosystem, Boxtop, without having to change any of your applications. Everything still works the same. Back in 2014, when we started designing and building Boxtop, one of the most important requirements that Boxtop was that Boxtop desktop environment had to operate in the same manner with the same performance as the PC under your desk. If that could not really be achieved, then all the other cloud benefits would be for naught. In the past, we had built private cloud environments for businesses utilizing Citrix and Microsoft remote desktop technologies. And while they worked well, we believe there were multiple inherent issues with these technologies that prevented the scale and performance we required from our Boxtop solution. Most Boxtop, <clears throat> sorry, most cloud desktop as a service platform leverage technologies and have applications and leverage these technologies and have applications and users working on shared virtual windows servers there are several different 
disadvantages to these type of scenarios. Firstly, users are not provided their own dedicated and persi persistent cloud desktop. Instead, upon logging into a Windows desktop session on the shared server, a desktop, a virtual desktop session is created with a shared set of resources for that user to leverage to use their and run their applications. This means that busy users in the shared server environment impact the performance of other users on that shared server. I equate this to the salad counter. It's great when someone doesn't hug and take all the tomatoes. Instead of a buffet, we provide everyone their own individual serving of salad, their own virtual cloud box top desktop. If an application running on a virtual shared server has an issue, for instance, Word or Adobe crashes while people are using a Citrix session, it can affect the ability of everybody on that server to use that application. People who have worked in Citrix or remote desktops environments in the past may have experienced things like this, where the Citrix server remote desktop server has to be restarted due to one issue. But now that has affected all users in that shared server environment from working. In BoxTop, if an issue occurs with your PC, any PC, no one else is affected. This mimics the exact same scenario you've work, been working in for years in your office environment. These issues were limiting factors in our eyes and meant that we could not provide the performance of a PC if our DAS solution was being built using Citrix or remote desktop. We therefore built, le <clears throat> therefore built BoxTop leveraging VMware Horizon technology. It's a simpler approach to desktop as a service and it just works. So what are the key benefits to firms that leverage the BoxTop cloud? So as I said, firstly, every user gets their own virtual desktop. When you purchase a PC now for your office, you get it with a certain amount of power, a specific processor, with a certain amount of RAM and storage. We do the same with your BoxTop desktop. By doing this, we are ensuring that BoxTop delivers on the performance promise we made. BoxTop eradicates the need for a firm to purchase and upgrade. <clears throat> purchase PCs are up and servers are upgrade for their offices. This is not the case with other cloud and DAS solutions. With BoxTop, all desktop servers, the applications such as WorldDocs GX4, and all the data it requires live in the BoxTop cloud, accessible now through one dedicated persistent cloud desktop. Your Windows 10 desk BoxTop desktop is accessible from any location and from any type of device, Mac, tablet, iPad, laptop, Chromebook, all these different types of devices allow you to access the BoxTop cloud. This means that you can work from the office, at home, a client's office, a courthouse, wherever you need to. Everything is always familiar with BoxTop. No matter the location or device you're working from, you're always accessing the same Windows 10 Cloud BoxTop. And therefore using your office applications, WordDocs GX4, and all other applications in the same way. The same way it looks today on your actual PC. Your WorldDocs GX4 application works exactly how it was designed to. WorldDocs was built to work in a PC server environment since its launch in 1988. The WorldDocs application is installed in your PC while the data you access sits in a server. In BoxTop, we rep replicate that exact same topology, but in the cloud. In other DAS solutions powered by Citrix and Robot Desktop, users are typically working in a shared server environment, as I said, and your WorldDocs application has to be somewhat fooled into thinking it is operating as it normally would. In BoxTop, you get to operate your mature, fully functional work version of WorldDocs GX4 and any and all of the integrations seamlessly from the cloud solution. There is no need to migrate to another new cloud version or to migrate to a different type of uh, uh, document management system application. Any integrations with any other WorldDocs partners and their applications such as Tabs, CopyTrack, Equitrack, excuse me, uh, DocCore, and many others operate seamlessly and without issue in the BoxTop environment. Security is ever present. You are always working in your BoxTop cloud desktop, which is not always the case when working in other cloud and DAS solutions powered by Citrix or remote desktop. The security you need to keep your client's data private and secure is never circumvented when leveraging BoxTop. <clears throat> Speaking of security, I'm sure you've all received the IT questionnaires from clients or institutional partners asking multiple questions pertaining to the security of your IT. BoxTop meets or exceeds these criteria with multiple layers of security in place from the data centers to our private cloud to your BoxTop desktop itself. 
We perform internal risk assessments, risk assessments have 24 seven monitoring and audit logging. We provide user password management, have multiple access, access controls, including two-factor authentication. We provide encryption at rest for all your applications, including Wirelocks GX4, and of course, encrypted access, which means saying goodbye to annoying VPNs. Server and desktop malware virus protection, web contact protection, ID and password protection are also included. Enhanced email security to mitigate phishing, email impersonation, and mal malware ransomware fuel attachments. Windows and additional application automated patching not just for your Windows desktop and servers, but also for a myriad of different applications that run in your browsers and et cetera. Backups, backup and contingency planning and business continuity is inherent in the solution. And we as a firm always perform third-party annual penetration testing and outside external auditing. We understand that the cyber threats are ever-changing. This is why we manage and operate our Boxtop Cloud under a cybersecurity infrastructure modeled after such best industry standards as the NIST, NIST Cybersecurity Framework, NIST Special Publication 600-53, and 20 different CIS critical security controls. Lastly, the right cloud needs to be provided by the right IT partner. Boxtop was born out of the experience, out of our experience in partnering and with and understanding the needs of small and mid-sized law firms and professional services businesses. We are not just providing a unique cloud service. We are surrounding that with unique operational and support partnership. We leverage Boxtop to help you leverage IT and be a better law firm. So now I wanna uh, do a test drive um, of Boxtop so I can show you a demo. To do that, I am just going to share my screen, uh, my other screen. Uh, in order to do that, just give me a second now. I will change the screen that I'm sharing. Okay, so as I'm doing my demo, I'm going to be looking at my other screen. So you're going to have to look at the side of my head. Uh, I apologize. So the first thing we're doing is we are going to log in. We're going to be prompted by our two factor authentication application to either uh, get a push from our smart device, get a text to our smart device, or um, get a phone call to our smart device. So I'm gonna do push, because that's the easiest option. So once that occurs, we get a request on our phone, just acknowledge it and authorize. And now we can log into Boxtop. So as we log in, the first thing we know and see is that it's just a standard Windows 10 Boxtop. So Boxtop originally launched with Windows 7 um, desktops, but at the beginning of 2019, we went to um, Windows 10, and every new desktop is Windows 10, obviously, now. So every Boxtop desktop, as we said, is built exactly like a PC. You get a certain amount of processing power, a certain amount of RAM, uh, you get a certain amount of storage, all the necessary resources that you need to run the applications that you operate in your business. Um, and those uh, pieces of resources can be upgraded if needed. We can upgrade your RAM, we can upgrade your storage. So on this desktop, we've got all our standard office applications installed. I have some sample files here that we can open up as well. Um, Bank Excel spreadsheet. So we have a sample spreadsheet here. We can open up as you can see everything performs really quickly, exactly like your PC under your desk, as we said. Uh, we have Adobe, we have MS Teams installed, very important collaboration tool nowadays, obviously. Uh, we have Slack here also. We use Slack internally in our firm. I know a lot of people love that, that program. QuickBooks for small businesses. A lot of small firms use QuickBooks as part uh, for their financial uh, bookkeeping. Uh, and of course we have World Docs. Um, so we can launch World Docs as a demo version. So we just put in the code WX0DT. Okay, oh sorry, I got that WDOXT. That's gonna launch the uh, World Docs application. And we're gonna get our drop zone icon up here. 
Um, I also have a network printer on in my home office. So box top to text that I can just simply print to my network printer very simply, nice and quickly. All peripheral devices respond like they do printers, scanners, all work exactly like they would do with a computer at your desk. Okay, so we have our mapped drives here. So this is your explorer, you have your local storage, that's my printer just printing there. You have your local document storage, uh, which of course um, people use um, when you're on your computer, you really shouldn't use local storage, but in Boxtop, it doesn't matter because every Boxtop desktop is backed up. Um, and we have a retention policy of 30 days for every desktop. So therefore, you can store stuff locally if you want to. Uh, you have your shared drive. This is where all the firm's data is stored. This is where your Word docs data will be stored also. Now, firms may have multiple drive letters. You know, you may have a Q, an R, an S, a U drive also. We can replicate all that in Boxtop. Uh, without an issue. So let's launch World Docs. So this is a standard view for World Docs. You can, of course, um, launch World. You can, of course, customize your view in World Docs any which way you want. And of course, you probably have in your firm. So at your firm, when we move World Docs into the Boxtop Cloud, we, we replicate all your customized settings. So we'll just walk through a couple of standard things that uh, are performed in um, Word Docs. If you know your client and matter, you can use direct access to do a search, of course. Um, if you're looking for favorite files, you can see, sorry, you can see all the favorite files. You just show all favorites. If you want to preview a file, you can just use the viewer. Makes it nice and easy and quick. We can hide that viewer. If you want to email a file to someone, we can click on email. Say we're sending a full copy. Okay. Send that to myself. Okay. You can also do that from within Outlook. If we wanted to save a file to World Docs, we click Save. We can fill in all the metadata. We make this a client. We make it a standard matter. Doc type, we just say an agreement. We could add security. We could save as a, a version. If you wanted to keep version, version versions of documents, save to a project. We're just going to save it as normal. Now that file is saved within our World Docs application. We could do the same thing with, with Excel. So there's basically all the applications that we run in Word Docs, which um, are some standard things that we do within Word Docs that um, shows that really it operates the exact same as it does uh, while you're working at, at your PC in your office. So I think that um, that should hopefully give you a good glimpse into what Boxtop looks like and how it operates. We just need to log out now. And now I will reshare my screen again. Okay, so we're now back on our slideshow. Okay, this um, quote here is uh, one that I particularly like, actually, it's from Steve Bain. He was the managing partner at Bain and Barclay. He just um, talked to a, to a group of people um, about Boxtop, and this was at the start of April, so, um, you know, or the end of March. So really the start of the pandemic, and he just said he felt like the smartest guy in the room because Boxtop allowed him to seamlessly move all these people out of the office. He actually went to Florida and, and uh, ran his Texas uh, law firm from there, and they moved back into the office um, mid-June. Um, so I just, I love that quote when he said, I felt like the smartest guy in the, in the room uh, ever by, by, uh, by selecting Boxtop. So what does migrating to Boxtop look like? So we pride ourselves on making your migration to Boxtop as simple and seamless as possible. The first step is to lay the foundation to build a strong partnership between you and the Tavish Group. So that entails learning who we are as a firm, what and how we can help your firm leverage IT in the Boxtop cloud. It also entails understanding the challenges your law firm faces and ensuring that 
the way we partner and the solutions we provide through Boxstop can address and help your firm overcome those, those uh, barriers and, and issues. As we go through this education process, we perform a full remote audit of your current infrastructure. This provides us with the deeper technical understanding of what is and is not working as it should currently in your IT. Once this audit is completed, we create a report and a proposal. We go through each of these with you, answering all questions and having further <clears throat> dialogue on how our solution can resolve the issues your firm is facing. At this point, the decision will be made whether you want to move forward or not. Of course, we have <clears throat> financial things that maybe need to be discussed and will help firms in this area by offering different payment terms. Uh, we understand that COVID-19 has affected cash flow right now, so we're currently allowing firms to onboard the box top while deferring a spreading professional save services payment for a period of time. Once all agreements are signed, we are ready to start the onboarding process. The onboarding process starts with introductions to your client manager, who we refer to as your virtual CTO. There is also the onboarding team who you be, <clears throat> and the financial team. The first internal meeting is the knowledge transfer to the onboarding team that in occurs internally. This is the handling of all the documented, documented information we learned during the sales engagement process to provide the onboard, onboarding team an immediate and, and detailed picture of your current IT infrastructure, your issues, needs, and goals for the onboarding. The onboarding team will then schedule a kickoff with the key contacts of your firm. There are multiple phases to any onboarding. The length of time each phase takes and the overall onboarding's timeline depends on a few factors, like the size of your firm, what integrations and you need, basically the, complex, the complexity of your IT. We have migrated firms to box stuff in as short as two weeks, while more intricate onboardings have taken up to three months. The key thing to note is that the operation of your law firm is never impacted during the onboarding process. I always equate onboarding to box top like moving into a new house. As you build your new house, your current situation, your current house continues without issue. And then on the day, you take a slight interruption while you move to your new house. That's the same thing that we do in Boxtop. So there are multiple phases to each onboarding. The first phase is the due diligence phase. During this, the team attains more detailed information on your applications, server, people, and processes to prepare for the migration of all your IT to the Boxtop cloud. At this point, we will do a deeper dive into WorldLox, for instance, to understand how it is being used, the integrations in place with other applications in your network, in your IT, the current version of that application, and maybe if your firm would benefit from an upgrade. Once the due diligence phase is complete, a schedule is set to complete the onboarding. At this point, you, your firm, your people will understand the box top or cutover, the box top cutover date. During the technical implementation phase, we carve out your firm's private and secure portion of the box top cloud environment. This entails configuring the servers, desktops, networks, and installing all your desktop and server applications. As I said, at times, if beneficial, we will upgrade your applications to the latest version. For instance, we may upgrade WorldDocs to the latest version as we migrate you. If we would do this in conjunction with a WorldDocs consultant. If you do not work with one, we work with, we partner with WorldDocs consultants, such as Docs Advisors, who actually helped us uh, in part of this presentation, so a big thank you to them, uh, who are based out of the Northeast. At this point, we will copy data from your current system so that Boxtop, when you're ready to text bo test Boxtop in WorldDocs, for example, you will do so with real data. So when your team are looking at the WorldDocs application, the data is relevant to them and therefore the testing is much more authentic and, and much more thorough. The next phase is the migration planning. During this, we train your team, test all applications, and schedule final migration. Training is minimal, as I've said before, because everything looks the same as it would if you were working on your PC under your desk, running Windows 10. We explain the benefits of Boxtop to all your users in your firm so that everyone is excited and bought, has bought in to, about, to the upcoming change to Boxtop, as excited as the people that made the decision has been educated on why that, that decision was a wise one. Testing of the key applications is performed as it is important to catch any issues prior to cutover. We set the migration schedule and we do so in detail to ensure that we have all our I's dotted and our T's crossed and also to ensure that you have a complete clear understanding of how the migration is going to proceed and complete. On the, agreed, on the agreed date for migration to Boxtop, we replace all PCs, 
with Boxtop clients and set up each user's desk for Boxtop access in your office. For users working outside the office, we will also set up their Boxtop access on any device they wish. As I said, an iPad Pro, a Mac, a PC, a, um, a, a laptop, even a tablet. We prepare all applications and data sets in, in Boxtop and then turn off all your old IT systems. Boxtop is now ready for use and we are ready to support your firm should there be any questions or, or issues. Your firm is now on Boxtop. Everyone is working from any device in any location, all securely and productively. So how do we partner with you moving forward? I mentioned your client manager previously. Well, your client manager is very important to your relationship with Tabish and acts as your virtual CTO of your firm. The client manager focuses on gaining a full understanding of the needs of your law practice through your key people. Your CM will meet with you on a scheduled basis, discuss your current concerns and future plans for your firm, and provide you with solutions to help you address both. For instance, are there opportunities for efficiency in finding applications that integrate with WorldLocks? WorldLocks has many great application partners that can make the WorldLocks um, application even more valuable to how your firm operates. The CM will also lead and forge out a strong bond and partnership between our firms, ensuring we are aligned for your success. The key team on a day-to-day -day basis is obviously our support team. Our help desk is open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Friday. We also have on-call hours from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. and 7 a.m. to 12 a.m. on weekends. Our help desk, desktop, and network team are there to support and resolve your IT and user issues. More importantly, they are focused on proactively maintaining your issues, your systems within Boxtop to minimize issues arising. The best type of support is a proactive preventative kind. We utilize a suite of systems that proactively monitor your IT within Boxtop and at your local office network space. If there is any issue, we are aware, we are immediately aware and are, and are tackling it. We are your IT team. You do not need to have a local IT provider or a handy IT person on staff when working with the Tabish Group. If you have a WorldDocs issue, you call us. If we need to call WorldDocs support to resolve that issue, we do so. If your firm does not <clears throat> does have an IT team, we will also work with them incorporating your team into ours by being fully transparent and providing them with all the same management, monitoring and support tools our team uses internally. Our project team is available at any time to perform the projects, any projects that, that are required. Maybe your office network needs to be upgraded or you need to upgrade WorldDocs to the latest version as we said before. Our cloud team is focused 24 seven on ensuring the uptime performance, security and development improvement of our Boxtop cloud. And our admin and financial team are available to you as needed. Our ownership, Morris and I, are there to ensure that as a firm, we live up to the strong promises we make to our mission and core values, ensuring we are the IT partner you require and that IT is helping support the success of your firm. So that's my um, presentation today. Sorry for the couple of blips with, um, with the live demo. Sometimes live demos go uh, skewed, but I'm glad that I got the sharing correct. You got to see the most important pieces. The one piece you didn't see obviously was the access control through two-factor authentication. Um, but of course we can show that with a trial desktop if you wish to attain one yourself, or we could do a live demo with you directly. So now I wanted to open it up for any questions. Ellie, I don't know if you have a list of questions from people that may be asked during the... Uh... So, this is Rebecca, uh, Hi, Rebecca. Sarah, and um, I have a couple of questions for you. Okay. Um, in, uh, basically, since March, well, before all of this happened, I thought that I did a lot of video conferences, but that was nothing compared to what has happened since now. Um, uh, so, uh, I guess... I also am aware that in a Citrix environment and in some of the, uh, you know, hosted desktop types of environments that I've that I've known about in the past, often it's a difficult thing to get video conferencing and, and things like that to work within that environment. Uh, is that a problem in yours? So, <clears throat> web conferencing has, for a while, I mean, back to when we first launched BoxTop, the quality of video operating within a virtual desktop was problematic, but over the last three or four years, that has increased dramatically. Um, we can simply play video 
within the box top environment. Also, we can do Zoom um, and um, any type of web conferencing through Boxtop, the environment itself. Um, we have different ways of doing that. We can do it internally through the Boxtop cloud, through the Boxtop desktop itself, but we also can run it from, we use, everyone gets a Windows client and we have methods of running your Zoom through the client that then loops back in uh, to your Boxtop desktop. So essentially, yes, we can run it. We also are actually working um, right now to enable high def high definition quality video within your box top desktop that's great yeah, so, so that, we have another is a bit being an issue basically because we're doing yeah. it right now i mean we've been doing it yeah. the, the one thing i just want to say is when we talk about box as something we believe in for businesses to use we actually operate out of box top so we do zoom, zoom meetings every day all day i do webinars like this i do um meetings with clients all through Zoom, all while working on Boxtop. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have a question from uh, from from our audience, okay. uh, wondering who owns the various software licensing? Do you own that or do they still own it? So we, your window, the virtual servers that you have in Boxtop, the virtual desktops you have in Boxtop, if you wish, Office 365, if you wish, Adobe, those licenses can all be packaged and resold through um, our solution. Something like WorldDocs, you still own that license. Uh, and that's actually important. You want to own you want to own that type of licensing because that's something that, that is integral to your business. Um, so certain licenses we provide, the key infrastructure licenses we provide. Um, if you already had Office 365, for instance, you would just keep paying that directly and we would incorporate all the other licensing through uh, Boxtop. But everything works seamlessly in Boxtop, but the key applications you own, you still own those licenses. We manage that relationship and facilitate that support for you, however. Um, so I have another question uh, because this is kind of an issue that's always been important to me. I guess what what is your your view of uh, BYOD in light of your solution? So the problem that has the problem of BYOD really boils down to um, security in my eyes. It's a great solution for small to mid sized businesses because BYOD means bring your own device in case anyone wasn't aware of what that means. Um, and for small to mid-sized businesses, there's a huge overhead to having to buy devices for all your staff to be able to use when out of the office. Now, of course, you were only doing that for a subsection of staff uh, prior to this situation. But as I said, now remote access is really a business continuity need um, for your business and an integral one um, and will continue to be for the foreseen future. So what do you do? Well, do you really want to be buying those devices for your staff? The reason you would need to is if you cannot manage to keep the security intact that you have to protect your client's data, your business data, and your application access, if you can't manage to protect that without managing the endpoint, so in other words, without installing all the same computer security on that, bring that device, if you can't do that with a personal device, then um, BYOD is not possible for you. People, you will have to buy them devices. You will have to put all the security on it and then allow them access your data. Because if they access your network with a VPN, say, or with other type of uh, um, other type of remote access systems, you're really opening the door from that device to your system. So if you're not securing that device, then you can no longer say you're compliant with your security needs. So that form you filled out that said, I'm compliant with um, that partnership's needs or that client's needs, you are no longer. But bring your own device in a scenario like Boxtop, it's perfectly viable because Boxtop is, when you're using Boxtop, you're using your device as an access point. The minute you connect to Boxtop, you're now working in the cloud. Your device is just a means to get to the cloud. The data never touches your, the data in your network and on your Boxtop desktop never touches that device. And if it happened, that device wouldn't matter. There'd be no data on it. It won't be a problem. So BYOD is actually extremely valuable and viable now as an option, which is a great cost savings. And it obviously it also allows for flexibility. I, you know, we don't want to be as small business owners um, telling our people uh, how to work from home. 
that's not the battle we want to have. We just want to be able to say, no matter the device you love to use, it can be an iPad, it can be a Mac, lots of people like that nowadays. It could be the device you use for video games. It doesn't make a difference. You can use that to connect to the BoxTop cloud and just work. Uh, and that's the most important thing. And I think BoxTop does that really well. It, it allows us to build our IT to reflect a need, not to build a certain system for a certain situation. So by that, I mean, we're no longer having to build a remote access system for when people have to work remotely. We're not building a specific backup to back up our data in case this happens. We're not building a business continuity system in case this happens. We're not having different security for people inside or outside the firm. Everything is centralized within one perimeter in the box top cloud. And we call it like having elastic security. If I had bring my own device, I connect to my cloud, my security that I use is still the same as it would be if I was in the office. So therefore I'm compliant, I'm secure, I can use any device and that device can be mine, which is a great benefit for the firm. That was a bit of a long winded answer, I apologize. Yeah, what happened to this being kind of a conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes so, I go um, into Irish mode. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're running short on time, but there is one more question that I'd like to ask that I think is, is a rather important one. I'm curious to hear uh, what changed over the course of the last few months with the COVID situation for you. I know you had existing customers that had a lot of this in place, but but certainly they didn't necessarily... Uh, have staff working from home at that point, and you probably had, you know, more people wanting to onboard. So I was just curious how this current situation has affected your team. So I think we work with approximately 100 different businesses, and 55 of those businesses are on BoxTop. Um, the great thing about that was nearly everybody in all these firms had worked from home because they, they had they had the ability to and um, we've had some funny complaints from people where they're you know i mean it's it's just it's been they're just being funny about it but they're saying hmm, you know one i remember one firm in dc the administrator was saying the executive director was saying you know what now it's tough um i have attorneys that that get packages delivered on Tuesday and work from home because they don't want to ruin their Saturday, which was funny. But the most important point is people have worked from home already. Um, and since they've worked from home, resituating to home was quite seamless. Uh, all the processes that they really utilized in, in the office worked when they were outside the office because they're always working a box top. Um, for clients where we had built, designed and built and managed um, our, uh, infrastructure, be it you know, hybrid cloud situations where they had some cloud and, and on-premise. I think the big deal was um, building out and scaling out their, their systems to allow for everybody to work from home. Because in, in their type of minds, those businesses, remote access was always only for a portion of their staff. It was never everybody. And even more importantly, when it was everybody, not everything was available to be done uh, remotely. So we had to build out, scale out, uh, and even in certain uh, instances, put in remote systems because they didn't have anything. Um, I think when we did a survey, it really broke down to 25% of firms were operating on a type of log me in, go to my PC scenario. 50% of firms were logging in to remote systems on premise to Citrix or remote desktop. And then 25% of firms were fully leveraged in the cloud. I think the real big change is how people are now becoming more open to this idea of putting everything in the cloud. The message is really hitting home because you don't want to have to pivot for any situation. You don't want to say, oh no, my, my uh, IT room is flooded. Pivot, let's do something different with my IT and have people work differently. Oh, we're, um, we're after having a power outage in our building. Pivot, we got to work differently and do this. Nobody wants to be making these decisions. It really came home when it was something global and affecting everybody in a huge manner. And we all had to pivot very quickly. Uh, some people were able to pivot quick, some people were, took weeks. Um, and I think the biggest thing is people realize IT's got to reflect how we have to operate seamlessly. And knowing that the it's never going to happen scenario just happened and therefore it's going to happen again. The biggest one it'll never happen just happened and it's going to happen again. And we want to be able to work seamlessly through these things. and. Cloud in many forms, but particularly desktop as a service, is a great solution for a small to mid-sized firm to do this.
All right. Well, uh, I, I think we've we've kind of run over the time a little bit. Uh, yeah. But we want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you. I really appreciate yes, it. Thank yes, thank you, Dara. Uh, um, as mentioned, we recorded the webinar and we will uh, post it for anyone who were not able to attend today. Um, anyone who were able to join us today, thank you so much. And uh, since next Friday is 4th of July, we are taking a break and we wish everyone a happy and safe 4th of July. And then we hope um, you will join us again in two weeks for another presentation in our technology webinar series. Okay. Bye.